How does this wide receiver group change without Braylon? Just gives the other guys opportunities. You know, it's it's uh, we still have some experience, guys that played last year, and we're excited about the young guys that haven't had an opportunity. Just gives guys more reps. Is there an initial mental hurdle that the guys have to get over with him being gone now? You know, we got a policy here at Oregon where we don't talk about injuries. That's kind of an in-house deal. Um, so I, guess I, don't, I don't want to comment on that. Who's been looking good amongst the young receivers? Uh, they've all shown flashes. Um, Chance Allen's stepped up his game a little bit. Every one of them has improved. Dwayne Stanford, B.J. Kelly, uh, Jalen Brown, a freshman that just made a huge transition, graduating early, and he's made great strides. We're excited about Jonathan Lloyd coming out for the football team and his attitude. Uh, and then Devin Allen had a really good day today. You guys had to replace Huff. If you have to replace Addison, too, do you feel like you have enough guys to get the job done? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we've got a great group, a uh, very hungry group, and a talented group. And we got a lot of players around them with a lot of different options. We have a good tight end package. We have a great running back package. And we have a ton of options. What's impressed you most so far about Johnny? And is, it, is it reasonable to think that he could actually contribute? Sure. Yeah, his attitude. Um, you know, that's a hard transition, too, when you go compete your butt off for four years on basketball and step onto a football field and not even really know what's going on. But it's been unbelievable to see his uh, – just his emotion and how eager he is to learn. And he has, he's put a ton of time on his own to get caught up with the guys. Even though he hasn't been a part of the team, how much leadership does he bring to the wide receiver core? Uh, I think he'll definitely bring some. It's tough. He's been there three days. Um, <laughs> but as a – But as has, has, his personality and he, he, he had instant respect the day he stepped on the football field because people know the type of person he is. And he's a great athlete but an even better person. Did you try to convince him to come play for the team? Yeah, you know, I think he wanted to a little bit on his own. Uh, I knew his high school coach, and we definitely encouraged it, saying we'd love to have you. And I think he's really good friends with Keenan Lowe, too. And there were a whole bunch of things involved in that. But at the end of the day, it was his call. You kind of add to the chorus of praise for Jalen Brown. Mark had mentioned it in February. Is it a maturity thing, or is it just kind of precociousness with his physical skills? What is it about that's allowed the transition? His intelligence level. You know, he's very smart. I think it takes a special person to be able to come in, leave school early, and just handle everything. Academics, a whole new environment, competing with a, a lot higher caliber talent. And then, you know, you got to have some stuff inside you, too. His, just, his inner competitiveness. Because that's another thing. The difference we talk about all the time, playing as a freshman, it's if you're ready to compete. you got to have a lot of confidence, and, and he has all those.